of Anthony. Well, no, brother, I, I, I told you, brother, brother, I was in Cape Town over the, over the, over the holiday. They call it the holidays, you know, on December, January kind of thing. I was there for a while. But you know, when I got there, um, one, one particular night, overnight, we were just having this discussion. It took a long time, like one of these five hour discussions. Anyway, part of that, uh, um, uh, uh, the guy uh, was at a bar, what was it after hours at the bar? But anyway, this guy, Antonio, who runs the um, uh, Chimaranga uh, and, and the Chronic, this uh, literary publications, he wanted, to, he asked about the, uh, uh, somehow Henry Dumas came up, uh, this author from the 60s, and he asked about this particular. A short story that he wrote about a saxophone. He thought it was a saxophone. I said, oh, I could find that out easy because unbeknownst to a lot of people, I'm a, I'm a Dumas denizen. You know, there's a whole Henry Dumas culture or, or cult, or I'm sorry, in America they call them Henry Dumas, D-U-M-A-S, you know, like, the, like the Alexander Dumas and this guy, like that. But uh, I call him Henry Dumas because um, I actually know the executive state, uh, uh, Eugene, Redman and also the widow. Um, I, I know uh, Henry Dumas' uh, widow. Anyway, she told me, Loretta, she told me one time when they were getting married, when they went to the courthouse and the, the court clerk asked her the name, and he said, Henry Dumas. And it was the first time she heard that his name is pronounced that way. And so I just used that because Loretta, Loretta told me he's a widow, so I used Henry Dumas. Anyway, I'm a Dumas denizen. So that story that, 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 uh, uh, and Tony was looking for, you know, I got to tell you this, but right before I left to come to Africa, you know, to live there, I, you know, I was living there at the time, right before I came, I, uh, I'm what's called also an event stage manager. I stage manage this event for, the, for this book here called Echo Tree. It's the uh, collective short fiction of Henry Dumas, you see? By stage manager event, the, the launching of this book, you know, for the month. Happy to my daughter. Anyway, so I looked in the book to find out what Antonio was trying to figure out. And there it is. The story is called Will the Circle Be Unbroken? Now, see, there's a lot of this. This has all of his. It's, he wrote uh, two short story books, Arthur Bones and Rock of the Wind. And, uh, but this is a collective of that and a bunch of other things. But it has a lot of stories in that. Uh, I particularly like, for instance, my favorite story I even recorded one time is called The Lake. The Lake. I really like The Lake. You know, and the lake is actually from Robert Wind stories. Uh, but also, when I was in uh, graduate school for playwriting, I took two of his short stories and his poems and I made it into a play. The story I used was from, well, the first story was from uh, Arthur Poems, which was uh, the story called The Crossing. And then the other, then the other story that I got was also from Arthur Poems called Double Nigger. So the play was called Double Nigger Crossing. It was a really interesting play, short play. It was not a full life short play. Longer than a uh, one act, shorter than a full play. Anyway, so and I particularly like also my favorite Henry Dumas story, Sergeant Lake, is a thing called Fawn. I like that story. Anyway, the power of Henry's writing can be demonstrated in the second paragraph of Will the Circle Be Unbroken? And let me just read it just short right here for you. This is what Henry's writing in this short story The black audience, unaware at first of its collectiveness, had begun to move in a soundless rhythm as if they were a tiny twitching of an embryo. The waiters of the club fell against the wall, shadows, dark pillows, holding up the building and letting the free air purify the mind of the club. I like that. It's a lot of literary, a lot of images in there. And if you know, this was written in, in the early 60s. And if you realize that, then you know, hold this thing about the free, this like free jazz movements, a bunch of other things. But anyway, the story is about the Afro horn. That's right. I got this from Cape Town. My friend Kolodi from Nigeria. He, he gave me as a gift. So I brought this because the Afro horn. And I'm, I'm singing praises to Henry Dumas, the great Henry Dumas. He was only on the earth, you know, for 33 years. Well, only for 33 years. He was killed in 1968 by a transit cop in New York City. Anyway, it's tragic, but uh, he left a body of work that's am amazing for just a young writer. If he kept on going, wow. Anyway, so that's it. That's one of those dispatches. Uh, uh, that would be from me, T, from the Patterson's, taking the train to, to bed, letting you know what I only suspect. <laughs>